Hello everyone, this is Malware from Studio. In this short guide, we'll be walking you through how to create this over effect on Framer. So let's go. So first thing you want to do is add on to Framer, create a new project. Click on F to drag a new frame. I'm just going to drag this here. I'm going to call this page wrapper. Alright, set this to relative 100%. Change our desktop add the layout give our, I'm going to give our page wrapper one two pixels height and change this as well to fill and our desktop changes to fit content so then we want to create our first component set but first let's just click on this I'm going to set this my page wrapper to layout stack top 56 on all side then a top padding of 200 to give some some spacing then yeah i'm going to give my first frame so i'm just going to call this image over and give this a 90 percent width okay click on t to add the text i'm just going to call this product design change this to bold, remove the background okay then next thing let me just give just give this 40 pixels I think 40 is enough change this to auto layout start I'm going to be adding to so maybe space between and also give this fit content what next we want to do is give the top and bottom margin 40 pixels on on both side Make sure they are 40 okay then just duplicate this set this to vertical horizontal rather sp sp um, justified between then I'm just going to edit this and give this you can edit it to any contents but for now I'm just going to give this um, number okay okay um oh one reduce this to 24 pixels right center this and we are almost done now what we'll be adding out are um, absolute items one would be the image the the border that we see here and also when they over here the this image scrolling and like following the mouse effect kind of to add a new frame drag one I'm going to call this border or divider rather give this a four pixels set this to absolute and the relative 100 percent okay it's not in our image over so i'm just going to drag this in it and set this to bottom 100 percent give this a gray background okay now we want to add back in also add a, du a duplicate this drag it inside i'm going to call this line also change our divider to layout style all right and for this line i'm going to give this a dark background and set the width to zero percent now what is next for us is to add two more frame so we'll be adding two frames absolute items also changes to relative 100 percent sorry 30 percent for the width and the height 100 percent i'm just going to drag this inside of this set this to right hand side 100 percent set this to top remove the that okay duplicate set this to this and i'll call this this is left and this is right then lastly okay let me just duplicate this too lastly this will be our image 
give this a fix 360 give this also a fix of maybe 312 depend on the on what you want basically so maybe give this this color but now if you notice our image is not showing properly so what we need to do is add on to our image over change overflow to to visible then we can add on to this part and center it yeah and also let's add a z index 2 so it will be above everything and we are done what we need to do now is create to convert this to a component so image over create add on to the next part okay for this first part what we'll, what we'll do is i'm just going to bring this down a bit right and set the opacity to zero and also maybe reduce this okay then on this part i'm going to reverse it so i think one of them is 360 so um the width is 360 so i'll just change it to 360 Two one two, then give the opacity one hundred percent and center it. Okay, then for this part, okay, I'm thinking. Uh, let me reverse this. So rather than zero zero zero, I'm just going to start this up first as in gray. Right then on over, it um becomes darker. Forty forty forty. Okay, then on over here in variant 2 let us make this darker and we can test this out but first let's just quickly um, add our effect so on mouse enter change to this then do the same for this too on mouse leave change to 1 so quickly let me just let us um, change this to default Changes to over. Now we can go back and click on Control P to to view this. Okay, I think it's working now. Yeah. Now let's just add some some tiny details to to this. So um, on, once it is over, we want to give a forty pixels on both sides as well. Right. Then also we want this divider line. I'm just going to change this divider line here to start so that we start from left to right rather than center then change this line to 100 percent and also we want to create two more variants those ctrl d then call this one left ctrl d again call this one right so um for the right we're just going to move this center move this to the right and maybe tilt it a bit maybe nine I think nine is enough then for the left to do the same thing move this to the left and maybe tilt it a bit maybe nine as well then um okay this is set to 100 percent this is this then we can set our interactions so um for this part sets for the left right hand side rather on over rather than tab change it to mouse enter set it to right okay then for this one on mouse enter set this to left rather than tab ensure you are checking it as tab then we can go back and just view this and it's working already right and one more thing i want to make sure this divider line is very dark okay yeah it's working now now we can just duplicate as many um as many of these and let's just set some variables real quick we're done already 
we'll just set some variables real quick so we can edit this so we'll just set some variable change this to text okay title and add this as number and also we'll set a variable for our image we don't have any image so i'm just going to use a color variable color okay so we can edit it for everyone so i'm just going to change this to brand strategy change this to two then change this to no code dev change this to three i'm going to call this ux research changes to four yeah then we've added the variables already so anyone we over it changes yeah it's that simple yeah yeah bye